We are going to do a math talk. And a math talk is really neat because it gives us an opportunity to really think about what we know and to share that thinking with everybody else. And remember, that's our norms. Our norms say that we're going to share our experiences, that we're going to share our ideas. Okay? So this is not about making, um, critiquing the reasoning of others. We're not going to do that, okay? We've done that before, but right now, it's just sharing our ideas, okay? We're going to be respectful, and if somebody says something that we don't agree with, it's okay, okay? This isn't gonna be a place where we respectfully disagree. This is just us getting our ideas out and sharing and talking through what we know, okay? Because we want to get good at that. We want to get good at explaining our thinking, okay? Let me see a thumbs up if you all agree to doing that with this. Okay. So our math talk is going to be about my friend Violet. And some of you heard about my friend Violet yesterday, right? The 680 group heard about my friend Violet. My friend Violet is awesome because her name happens to be my favorite color, right? So, so she's pretty cool, and we talk about math all the time. And Violet says that Los Alamos County, the area of Los Alamos County, is 109 square miles. And she says that Los Alamos County's area, 109 square miles, is about one-tenth the area of Bernalillo County's area, which is 1,166 square miles. Now here's the part where you think, okay? So we're gonna think. Do you agree or respectfully disagree and why, okay? So we're not respectfully disagreeing or agreeing with each other. We're trying to explain her thinking, okay? So right now I want you to think. Is everybody ready to think? Okay, show me, show me your thinking. We're gonna do this for a minute. I want you to think, how are you going to agree or respectfully disagree and why? with what Violet is thinking, okay? We're just thinking, okay. Now, you are going to share your thinking, but we're not gonna do it by raising hands. I'm going to draw equity sticks. Mm. So we're all responsible for sharing our thinking, right? I told you that when we started, those are our norms. So I'm gonna pull equity sticks, and whatever it is that you're thinking, you're going to share. Now. I'm also going to open it up for questions that you might have, okay? So maybe you're having a hard time deciding whether you agree or disagree. If you have questions that you need to ask, that's okay too. Yes? Okay, so since I'm adding that to this, I'm going to give you 30 more seconds to think, okay? Thinking. That was 30 seconds. Will you be the first one to get us started? Uh, I agree with Violet because um, she says um, it's about, not exactly about one tenth of Bernalillo. And um, so what I did was um, first I multiplied a hundred, I took away the nine and set that on the side. So I multiplied a hundred square miles by 10. And that was um, 1,000 square miles. And if you uh, multiply the 9 times 10, that's 90. So in total, it'll be 1,090 square miles. And Bernalillo is 1,166. And that's not too far. OK, so I want to capture the math that you just told me, OK? So you said Los Alamos County's area is 109 square miles. Bernalillo is 1,166. is 1,166. Yeah. Okay. 
And so first, I set the nine to the side to make it easier to do mental. So I did uh, mental math. So I did 100 times 10, because she said it's about 110. And then that was um, 1,000. And then I and then I did the then I did nine times ten, and that's 90. And okay. I added those two, which is 1,090. And that um and that is about 1,000. It's not exactly 1,166, but it's um it is about like no, it's like <laughs> it's like near 1,166 square miles. Also, if you round it, it's gonna go near 1,166 miles. So. Okay. So it's not exact. Yeah, it's not exactly, but it's about. Okay. I think I captured everything. Well, Those of you that are thing. sitting out there and listening to what he just said, did I capture his thinking? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank you for being so supportive because I appreciate it. This time, I want you to tell me if you agree or disagree with what um, Daniel just said. I'm so confused on the question. You're still, okay, so what was the other option that you had? What do you mean, another option? to ask questions, right? When we first started, I said, if you're not quite sure if you agree or disagree with Violet, you can ask questions. Okay. So then what questions could you ask Eileen to help clarify this mm -hmm. for you? So can I ask some probing questions to, to help you maybe think about what questions you have? Is that okay? Yeah. Or are you ready to give me a question? Uh, can you do what you, can you ask somebody else? Okay. okay. So, so my question to you is: Is what part of, of Violet's thinking are you not sure about? Like, is there some language here that's that's tripping you up? Um, are you? Do you need a strategy? I need a strategy. Okay. So, so now, tell me that in your thinking. What What are you thinking? Well, I'm not like I'm. Not, it's weird. I'm not quite sure how to explain it. Mm. I'm gonna write. I need. I need a strategy. A strategy for what? What are you feeling like you need a strategy for? I'm gonna have someone else go okay. to see if that'll help you come up with a strategy, and then I'm gonna come back to you. Okay. So keep thinking. I agree with Daniel and Violet because um, it is pretty close. If you do, do what Daniel said to take away the nine, and then uh, once you do it all, it comes out to 190. It is very close to 1,166, 1, only like 70, um, it's like some 60 some off. And I tried doing it 11 times 109, and that good that goes to 1,199. So it's not an 11th; it's about a 10th. Because it can't be an 11th, because that's just too high above the 33 off. So you tried doing 11 times, right? Did I capture that correctly? Uh huh. But it's not an 11th because it's closer to a 10th. I'm curious about the process that you took. What did you do mathematically in your mind mm -hmm. that helped you to decide that it's not an 11, that it's a 10? Well, first I did what Daniel did, take away the 9 and then multiply it to 1,100 1, and 1,090. And then, like I said, I did what I'm I tried to go, I tried to add 109, and that got me to, um, instead of 1,090, 1,199. Okay. Would you please read what I just wrote and see if I captured what you said? So where is the whole idea of 
11 times, and it's not an 11th, it's closer to a 10th. Tell me which numbers you're thinking. It tells you which. Like I did 11 times 9, which is 99, and 11 times 100, which is 1,100, and add those two together, 1,199, and that's not, that's not equal, so it couldn't be a, an 11th. It's probably closer to a 10th. Or about a 10th, anyway. What Daniel did was what got you to the 10th. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's okay. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions for either John or Daniel? Or Violet? I know Violet's not here, but I'll, I'll let her know. Put her on speakerphone. Okay, so let's, let's think. Because I want the rest of you thinking too. Like, if, if you were stuck, what questions could we ask? Do you have a question that might help? What kind of operation she used and how she did it. Like, that would help me more because it would, I'm, I'm not so quite sure on how she would have done it. So, it would help me to see what operation she used. Do you have a question? Um, this might help, but it might not. Um, so, how did she figure out that Los Alamos was 109 square miles, and how did she figure out that Bernalillo was 1,166 square miles? But I do agree with Daniel and John, but I think I have an easier way to explain it. Yeah, I'm glad that you're sharing that. That's important. Um, I'm going to come back to you in a minute because I have a couple more questions and I'm going to come back, okay? I'm not sure if this is going to help or not, but I just, me personally, I wanted to know how did she know it was about one tenth of the area of Bernalillo County's area? Okay. Um, why would she want to know that? Los Alamos is about one tenth of Bernalillo. Share what you think, um, what you feel is easier. Um, like you could just use the map of New Mexico, and you could put Los Alamos and Bernalillo because Bernalillo has like a little thing that is kind of like Oklahoma. And you can try and put that in Bernalillo, and that's about one tenth of Bernalillo. Okay. So, so comparing them, I, th I think you're kind of referring to the strategy that Olivia shared with us yesterday and earlier today, right? Where you're just like looking at the areas. Okay. So I'm going to put visually. All right. I like all those ideas. Thank you so much for sharing your thinking. And I want to thank you for sharing that you're still not sure, because that, that's a big deal. So thank you so much. All of you did a great job.